Good morning to you. I'm Jeff Slakey. We're diving into a great conversation about the Port of Shelton and Wendy Smith's in studio this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Wet out there right now. Oh, man. How is um, <laughs> Brandon and the gang doing up there Ooh. with all the work that's been going on? Yeah, it's it's tough. And actually, just to put it in perspective, I think daily um, our crews are running around and patching roofs and hot tar. You know, they've got a hot tar. I don't know. I'm going to say machine. That's probably not the right word, but a hot tar um, a piece of equipment that they can fire up and, and it actually works somewhat on, the, on these um, kind of days. Rain. Yeah, wow. but yeah, it's it's nasty. And, you know, and then the project on the runway, they, yeah. need, they need some sunshine to be able to pave. They they haven't paved yet. And, yeah, so it's kind of putting everything backwards. But Well, that's not like it's going to be anything spectacular, but maybe tomorrow. Yeah. And maybe by, to, maybe by Friday afternoon, there will be some sort of extended amount of non-rain that could help. I don't know. I, know. I don't know. That's tough. And that's the trouble with anything like that, any kind of project. You not only need the break in the rain, you need a little bit more so that it can dry and yeah. cure. And so, yeah. Always something going yeah. on. What else is happening up at the port? Well, we had a meeting yesterday, okay. and it was pretty um, insignificant. We um, we actually approved, our commission approved a addendum, lease addendum, for one of our cannabis tenants out at um, John's Prairie, and the addendum really just cleaned up some language on um, deposit money, which is, you know, we call surety, uh-huh. um, as well as um, offered some options. Um, he was kind of on the beginning of the I-502 um, companies coming in and so he didn't get offered some of the options that oh, okay. others, others do and other tenants and so we got that done and um, I gave the board a little bit of an update on curb um, as you know we've talked we're partnered with Ben Frazier mm-hmm. um, the board meeting for that is coming up I'm actually be- meeting with Ben today um, to get ready but the board meeting for curb is coming on November 17th and that's when we will know whether they approve our project or not um, but the staff reports coming back are great they're Good. they're approving the grant which is $160,000 free grant money and approving the 160,000 loan at a 1.13 percent so and what again is this partnership that is gonna gonna go for you and and Ben for Fraser, Fraser Metal yep, Works. Right? Yep. So it's a um, it's a committed partner program through Curb, and so that's through the Department of Commerce mm-hmm. and their Community Economic Revitalization Board, and they um, have various types of projects. And this one is, like I said, the committed partner. So it has to be a municipality, like a port okay. or a city or a county or some kind of government entity that applies and actually is you know getting the loan um, but you partner with a business and they have to meet a bunch of criteria full-time jobs certain income you know has to be above medium income um, in their project so for Frazier it's going to be walling some of those old mill buildings uh-huh. it's going to be a septic system it's going to be um, Oh, roofing, electrical, all kinds of just varying things. And so what that'll do is enable his business to grow. Um, it'll enable him to get more projects on his books, and that, that way he um, employs more people. So it just so all those numbers, they calculate and they figure all that out. So what we'll do is we'll apply, for, or we already did, and if, if approved, it'll be basically the port that pays that back, but that'll be Ben that pays that back. It'll yeah. actually be in his lease. Oh, wow. Terms. So we just tag that right on. So that's great. It is great. So um, we've talked about it enough that we've kind of sparked some interest from some other tenants. And, you know, we never know um, at one point we've gotten curb money in the past. But at some point, you know, it does go away. We're lucky here in this county, lucky or unlucky that it's we're a little distressed. Mm -hmm. And so we're able to get lower rates. We're able to apply and probably have a little better chance than some of the other counties. Um, We also are what's called a fire stricken county and they created a map that um, showed various counties that have had some issues with fires and different things and and we're one of those and so that lowers our rate even more so okay yeah so it's really I mean it's you know a great if you're willing to put you know it's work it's a lot of work it was a lot of work for Frazier it was a lot of work for us but if you're willing to do a little bit of work you get you know reap those you know rewards of the program I know you guys have been at some uh, recent port uh, meetings gatherings Mm -hmm. of the different ports are the ports other ports that you talk with are they um, as active as you are with helping 
the businesses that you lease well, to? Nobody's as active well, as I know we that are. You guys of are the, course, top Jeff. notch. No. Of course, 100%. <laughs> no. It just seems to me like you guys are, are uh, in many cases, above and beyond helpful to well, your you. tenants. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I think we try to be. I think lots of ports do try to be. Okay. I did here at the small port seminar, we heard from the Port of Sunnyside. It's right near Yakima. Mm-hmm. And they're actually doing partnerships. Um, I don't know that it's through curb funding, it's varying funding, but. Um, um, to do wineries, so they're kind of buying these old dilapidated buildings, but partnering with the business coming in, and so they're doing similar things. Um, when you talk about different ports that maybe don't have a lot of tenants, you know, some of our smaller ports even here in the county, they don't, you know, they have a boat ramp or you know they have a restroom, and so they don't have tenants like we do yeah. per se um it makes it harder sure. i think but yeah i think that's kind of a port's mission you know we're there to create the jobs and help in any way we can and sometimes that means a little bit lower rent um sometimes that means applying for grants that they couldn't otherwise get um anything we can do to to kind of help their businesses along is is good for the community it's good for the port it's good for their business and so it's just kind of a win-win all around so you can find out all sorts of great information about the port of shelton on their website portofshelton.com we have links to it on our website as well they've got stuff on all the different properties including the johns prairie industrial park the uh, airport and industrial park at sanderson field and the marina uh you can find all that at the uh, portofshelton.com wendy smith in here a weekly talk about all great things that the port's up to thank you much welcome so try to stay dry out there yeah and i just have to i have to put a really quick word oh, in for our, all of our maintenance crews and even our office staff we're just we are short-handed we we've lost a couple people just by you know kind of people filling other sure. positions or going elsewhere and where everybody's just working just hard so i appreciate all our staff they're just awesome and keep it up guys very good work, so very good all right well thank you wendy you're welcome it is uh, 8 51 we'll surface on out of here and be back after this this. <laughs>